All right, hello everyone. Um, just wanted to do a quick overview on the OPQ One Piece Quad frame with the KK2 board and the uh, Q Brain 4 in 1 25 amp speed controller. Um, I heard people having issues with hooking this up, and I had a couple people ask me um, just kind of how they how I did it and all that. So I'm kind of just going to brief in overview of how I did this, how I hooked it up, and how I got the motors kind of in sync with the, the speed controller and so on. So what I did is the instructions have the S1 through S4, pretty much your motor hookups, to go into your control board, which is I'm using the KK2.0. And it had it so your power cable right here was going into like your third motor, which wasn't giving it power. So what I ended up doing was I switched the main one right here, which is your S3, to go on your motor input of your KK board or whatever board you're using to go on output one of your or motor one port of your board, and then I switched that with motor three. So I pretty much just switched the red one and the white one, and then I also switched them on the speed controller. So I ended up putting, which is let's see, here's the front motor one and motor three. I had to switch the motor connections so they would be in sync and be in correct positions and rotation. Other than that, um, I haven't made it in yet. I just kind of just figured that out. Also, when I had all these were done, the throttle hub, I couldn't really figure out. So what I ended up doing was doing the ESC calibration on the KK board, which you usually just do. Um, you hold your two outside buttons right here. And then I usually I try to get two people to do it because it's kind of hard to plug in your battery and Put your radio on at the same time so what i do is just to turn your radio on you put it in the full throttle position then you hold your two outside buttons on your kk board and while you're powering on you're still holding it power it on it will kind of give you two beeps once it gives you those two beeps you throw your throttle down to low to the bottom and then it'll give you another confirmation and i believe a three tone kind of metally metally and say it's pretty much done and then you let it go and you should have all motors turning at the same time with no kind of glitching. I, that's how mine worked out. I'm not sure how, maybe some might have, might have a different problem, but that's how it worked out for me. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm using 80-45 blades. A little effect in the red-yellow look, just going to be a little bit different. Uh, just still trying to figure out how I'm going to mount my battery, how much I want to mount it. Um, just right below this or somewhere in the back. Um, there's, Good locations. I just want to make sure my weight distribution is, is good. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, any questions, comment below. Um, I'll have a minute flight probably right after this. So I'll look forward to that in a second here. Um, thanks. It's a little tuning, but it's in the air. I had a little problem with the props. I had to put a spacer between the nut and the prop because it was 
a little short so it was just spinning on the shaft rather than spinning up the motor. Otherwise, I think it does pretty good so far for the settings I had it at right now. This is auto level on. Uh, it needs a little bit of tuning, I think. A little bit of drifting. A lot of drifting. All adjustable, really. But overall, Even with the battery on the back, it seems still that it's not really hurting it that much for weight distribution. But that's all about trims too, so I can trim it pretty good. I think I'm liking the battery in the back like that though. But yeah, there's the maiden for you right there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. So I forgot to kind of go over what was on it. I have uh, the red motors from uh, Ready to Fly RC, or Ready to Fly Quad, I'm sorry. Um, 1000 KVs. They are, well, of course I said earlier, I'm running it on a Q-Brain 4x25 amp. I'm sorry, let me get that in there. Q-Brain. 25 by 4 amp, 25 amp by 4, right on, sorry. Actually, I also got the 2 inch quarter 20 nylon bolts that went into the hole that were pre-drilled. Um, it went 2 inch, kind of low, it's a little higher. I know he might have said like a uh, crash cast was saying uh, inch to inch and a half or so, but I bought some inch and a half, so it didn't work for really long enough with the profile I wanted on the graph to ground, so it went 2 inch. Um, went with the same nuts he was talking about, same use three millimeters by eight to ten. I put a washer in each one because I was running short, so I just put two washers on each one. Um, I'm running a 2200 milliamp turn G three cell IPO. I still have to remount that the right way. I put duct tape around the wires because the wires are really long, so I kind of went off that. Uh, and then an orange RX with a turn G 99X uh, radio. Uh, and then, of course, a KK 2.0 board. Um, this is kind of a temporary mount because I'm going to go with, uh, I got a case and I'm going to put it on here and work with that so it's a little bit protected when I decide to crash one day. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.